Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the cone clutch. So what is exactly the cone clutch? So cone clutch is nothing but it is a one type of frictional clutch which is used to engage and disengage the engine shaft to the transmission shaft. It basically consists of two conical surfaces so as to transmit the torque by friction. One surface called as male member and another surface called as female member. It is easier to engage and disengage as compared to positive displacement clutch, which you use before the cone clutch, means before the invention of the cone clutch. High torque can be transmitted by using cone clutch than the same size of plate clutch due to greater contact area. And the clutch can be used where high torque transmission is required at the low rotating speed. So this type of clutch is now widely used in the heavy vehicles. Now this is the schematic diagram of the cone clutch where this is the shaft which is coming from the engine. So this shaft is called as engine shaft or the driven shaft. Then to this engine shaft, female cone is attached. And now this is the spline shaft which is going to the gearbox. That is the driven shaft or the gearbox shaft. And on this is nothing but the male cone on which this friction lining material is provided at this part. So this structure is conical. So the name of this clutch is the conical shaft or this conical this cone clutch. And here, this is the sleeve. Sleeve will be having sliding movement along this spline shaft. So initially, you are this male member is in contact with the female member due to the spring force. And when you try to just change the gear position with the help of this pedal, you have to apply the force here so that the spring will get compressed and this sleeve will move backward. And so the male will be not having any contact with the female. And then the, after changing the gear position, we have to release the pedal slowly so that the male surface will get in contact with the female surface gradually and there will be power transmission. So in this way, the cone clutch shape works. So as we have told, the female cone or outer cone is a part of the cone clutch which is attached directly to the flywheel. Means that is attached to the driven shaft. And male cone is nothing but the cone which is attached to the driven, driven shaft, means to the gearbox system. So in this way, whatever the working that is now elaborated here, and spring is being located behind the male cone, which is used to keep the inner cone, or means male cone to be engaged with the female cone. And when it is been uh, pressed, pedal, when pedal is pressed, the spring will get compressed and there will be no contact of male with the female cone. And at that time, we can change the gear position. So same the working shown here for the cone clutch. And here the stiffness of the spring is to be is playing a very important role to keep the male cone in contact with the female cone. So the stiffness of the spring we have to just uh, check so that there will be no any problem while engaging and disengaging the gear position. So these are the advantages of the cone clutch that normal force acting on the contact surface is greater than the axial force and it creates less noise than the plate clutch. High torque can be transmitted for the same size of the plate flush due to large frictional force area and there is less wear and tear of the material. But disadvantage is that it becomes very difficult to disengage if the cone angle is smaller than the required. And uh, high maintenance is required because if there is little wear, then there will be considerable amount of axial movement of the inner cone. And applications of cone flush are they are used in heavy vehicles, then in racing boats, then in uh, off-road vehicles, and many more. Now, in the next slide, we will see this operation, how it works. Hi, guys. Welcome to HowMachineWorks.com. Today, with the help of this animation, let's learn how a cone type clutch exactly works. First, we'll identify all the components in the system. Then, we'll explain its working with the help of this animation. First, that's the engine. Then, we have the flywheel. Those are the two cones. The blue one is a female cone. The brown one is a male cone. And on the male cone, we have friction materials. And let's see, that's a spring over there. And that's the clutch controls over there. And that's the input shaft towards the transmission. And finally, we have the transmission or the gearbox over there. Now let's say it's working. So uh, the drive is getting towards the flywheel from the engine. And as the female cone, which is in blue, is as a part of the flywheel, uh, it also starts to rotate. So you can see the female part of the uh, cone is rotating. And uh, the male part is now disengaged from the female part. So the drive is not going into the male part or it is also not going into the transmission. So that's the portion which is highlighted 
where the male cone mates with the female cone. So and that's a friction material over there. And as the male cone moves inside, they get mate inside and the drive goes towards the transmission. So now I am activating the clutch lever control so that uh, the drive can be transmitted and the male cone gets in contact with the female cone. So now you can see the drive from the flywheel, which is reaching the female cone, is carried away by the male cone and it gets into the input shaft and finally towards the transmission. So that's how the transmission gets the drive. Now I'm moving the lever back so that the clutch can be disengaged. So now the female part is disengaged from the male part. You can see the male part is going away and now the drive from the flywheel rests with the female clutch and the drive is not going into the transmission. So it's, that's how simply a corn type clutch actually works and uh, this is mainly used in racing cars also so i believe you understand it's working for more thank you